we're, next one we're going to do, we're going to start with this over under position. And the good thing about the overhook from here is that a lot of times the person on top wants to get an underhook on you because they want to get their underhook, smash them, smash them in my back, and then use that this way and use that to pass. All right. So these sweeps, you can do them from your back, like when you get pinned down, pin me down flat my back. You can sweep the person from here, but you're almost always better off getting the person back a little bit. So you see how I'm not flat on my back. My right shoulder is up. It's going to allow me to take him in one direction. Right? If you end up pinned flat like this, right, you're going to have a hard time going anywhere until you get up. So this is where, like we did last week, you use that sort of pump of your knees to sit the person up, and then you can go right back to the, uh, to the sweep. Right? So try to avoid, at any point, getting pinned flat to your back. If you see how, like, even when he pins me, like my shoulder's up off the mat, this gives me the ability to, to off-balance him. If you do end up flat, make sure your first step is not to try to sweep the person from here. Your first step is to try to sit up, extend your legs, and make some space. And now you have the ability to move. So none of, the, none of this is going to really work when you're flat on your back. And if you do get pushed back, never let both shoulders hit the mat. Always try to keep at least one up. Right? Um, the other thing is while you're doing it, as he starts to pull away, as he starts to pull away and you're losing this control, you should always go right back to that sort of two-on-one control. So if I lose control with what I had here, I just have to pull away, I'm just gonna get two on one, right? Because this grip gives you, even if you don't get someone coming in you from here, you can use this grip to attack different submissions from the bottom too, right? Um, so we'll go over that more on uh, Thursday. But just try to, as you're, as you're doing this round, when you start here, if your partner starts to pull away, immediately try to get a grip on them so you can establish your control. And if you can't get the person to come to you, like as they're pulling away, you have two options. One is to come up, and the other is to use your feet to attack their arms. All right, so if the person pulls away and you get this two-on-one control, you can't hold this for a long time, but you can hold it long enough to get a foot on the hips instead of going inside and come to the hip. And he uses, pushes me out from under him, so I pulls his hand on the mat, and I can use that to get into submissions from the bottom. All right, let's go. Uh, you're gonna start now. Over under. Person on top is trying to get past your legs now. Person on bottom, you're trying to use this position. So again, wherever he goes, your feet have to follow. That's like your first sort of line of defense. Even if you lose this control, your feet have to stay connected to him. Right? So if you lose this, so pull out, try to make sure you get some sort of grip on him again. You can pull yourself back in. Right? But he shouldn't be pulling away too much. He should be pressuring into you and trying to get past your legs. All right? One, two, three.